Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we are going to look at how to design funeral program page 3 and 10. The last time I take you through how to design funeral book inside web page 2 and 11. So in today's tutorial we are looking at how to design page 3 and 10 in Adobe Photoshop. So without wasting much time, please let's jump into Photoshop. Alright, so let's launch my Photoshop and let's get in. So to create a new document, go to file and select new all right so let's change here to international paper and then our paper size let's take it to a3 all right so let's take a3 and the rate 3 let's reduce the resolution to 100 now your color will leave it to rgb color since we are not going to print this out and hit on ok all right so the paper is in a portrait form so let's change it to landscape so let's go to image you go to image rotation and pick 90 degrees clockwise so yeah, that is it now let me zoom this in to see what is happening all right using control plus okay well the next thing is let's divide the page into two because this is a brochure or a booklet that you are designing okay so just divide the page into two go to view and go to new guide all right so set that on vertical guide and then vertical guide type the 50 percent and hit on ok all right so your page has been divided into two for you so it means that at my extreme right that is this part where the mouse pointer is that will be your page three and then this place will be your page ten okay so let's get into the work so we want to design the background to make it look more attractive all right so let's go to place and let's bring in our source file so the source file we are using today for the background is this that is the first one Right, so let's wait for this a little bit okay so let's open this up to fill the entire workspace so let it cover the entire page like this all right so the next thing is go to fil filter and go to blur and pick Gaussian blur let's blur this out so 8.0 and hit on ok so I want it to be like that now let's reduce the opacity for this reduce the opacity to 10 I think 10 is too small so let me bring it back to 20 okay so 20 is okay and now it's on okay the next thing let's go back to our file and then okay so go to file go to place and let's bring in this one now all right so I want this to rotate to in order to be in a landscape form so what I'll do is I'll go to edit and go to transform and choose 180 degrees then we go to transform okay 90 degrees clockwise okay then open that to fill the entire workspace like that now what you do is reduce the opacity for this reduce the opacity for this and then put this on blending mode go to multiply and multiply that now let's reduce the opacity a little bit let's reduce it a little bit okay to something like this i think this is looking good as our background okay now the next thing i want is to do over here is pick your shape tool or you can just press u on your keyboard to pick your shape tool okay but you can just bring it, bring it the mouse pointer on it and select rectangle tool now draw a shape like this a rectangle on top over here like this now let the color be let's open this color box and now let's change this color to a more lighter color like this all right to something like this now let's draw another shape at the bottom part over here as well so that we will have something like this bring this down a little bit to something like this now select your shape tool and by selecting this select the shape tool and now open this and open this again now bring your color use your mouse pointer to bring the color down to this portion like this now let's pick a color to not too black do and the code is c22900 and hit on ok all right so you get a color like that now the next thing i want is to do is select this shape make sure that your auto select is on and go to file and go to place and let's bring in this source file so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet kindly subscribe for more videos to come your way all right now the next thing is position this picture that you just brought into the work position it properly i want this candle part to be showing so i'll position it on top of the rectangle i drawn over there 
and then I'll right click on that and select create playfield mask so that I'll get something like this like that now the next thing is I'll go to blending option and pull that of soft light alright so that is it let, let me change it from soft light let me put that on a uh, let me see screen I think screen is okay okay so we'll put it on screen and then from there let's reduce the opacity a little bit reduce the opacity a little bit okay I think that is looking good over there the next thing is select this shape the shape at the bottom and go to file again go to place and let's bring in this firewood that's the burning firewood over there all right so let's position this I want the firewood part burning to be on the shape so I will drag this to that end and also drag this side also to this end and I'll come here to the picture right click on that and select create flipping mask so that you get something like this the next thing is go to your blending options and select screen then reduce the opacity reduce the opacity for that reduce the opacity for that to something like this then you have something like this all right now the next thing is we are going to pick our shape to again and we'll put that on rounded rectangle and your radius should be 30 pixels and now draw a shape like this at this end okay now change the color from that to black like that now position this let's hold down this and now let's position it let's position that well 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 mm. all right so let's position that over here like this okay the next thing is let's duplicate that control j duplicate now drag the duplicated one hold down shift before dragging and bring it to this very end like this now commit that all right so you get something like this at the corner part nicely like that okay now what you are going to do now is we are going to start numbering our page okay so let's pick our type tool pick your type tool or you can simply press t on your keyboard to select the type tool all right so as your type tool is selected for you do not place it on top of the shape if you place it on top of the shape it turns a different thing so click on another part or any part of your work like this okay then let's change the font to area and put it on area mover and i'll reduce the size to uh, 14 i think that is looking good and i'll type the three which three let's change that to bold okay okay now let me increase the size for that okay and move that let me quickly move that and place it on top of this i can then change the color to color white like that then increase the size again okay now let me select this two shape like this and then i can then sorry 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 ctrl d to undo not this shape i want to select this one and then the three okay then i can select center them okay to something like that all right the next thing is duplicate the three and bring it there hold down shift and drag that pick your type two pick your type two and highlight the three and type the ten okay all right so the next thing let's select the ten in this shape and now let's center it center that all right so that we get this so this side of the brochure or booklet or book fold will be your page 3 and this side will be your page 10 okay all right so i'm sure you are following the tutorial please if you haven't subscribed to the channel please kindly subscribe to the channel for more videos pick your type tool and now let's go back to our test and let's copy let's copy some few tests okay so let's copy this one copy that ctrl c to copy Ctrl V to paste. Now open your character box and then reduce the size for this. Reduce the size again. 
okay now bring this over here okay now the next thing is go down control key and press j to duplicate that i move the duplicated one to this side like this i think that is looking perfect over there okay <coughs> so this is looking good over there all right so let's zoom in and see what is happening well 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 that is it the next thing is pick your type 2 again and let's come here and then let's go back to our test all of this will be made available at the description for you so that you can also go there and follow the lesson as well so check the description for the resource files okay now let's type the order of service okay and then let's open this and the font you are using is going to in this will be i'm going to use a font called real way real way let's take this font real way and now let me put this on heavy something like this let me open the tracking a little bit okay let me open it one more time so 100 then i can now I can now open this up like this open it up like this again and now position this at this place then let me reduce the height to okay I think hundred is too small so let me put that on 110 okay it's perfect okay then let's position that over here move it to the top a little bit okay now go to your fx and then pick blending options now let's drop a little shadow for this the shadow to be two the distance should be two the space will also be two and your size will also be two now hit on okay all right so guys that is it over there for us now let me go back to my shape tool and right click on that pick your custom shape tool okay now open it and then let's scroll down and pick this shape let me move this to the top over here and go to edit and go to transform path and flip this vertical now select this and now let's center the two over there bring this down a little bit let's change the color to white like that to get something like this well that is it the next thing we are going to do is pick your shape tool again and now our radius is we are picking a rounded rectangle and our radius is 30 pixels and let's draw a shape here like this let's draw one here like this and now let's change the color to black okay so let's bring in our guide bring in a guide to this end and let's bring in another one also let's bring another one also to this place like this all right so that's our work will be guided for us so we get something like this now let me zoom in to see what is happening okay so we are working around the page 10 now now let me go back to my test and let me copy this ctrl c to copy or you can right click on that and copy that pick your text tool or your type tool ctrl v and paste that over there now move this to the top open this up and now increase the size to 30 and position this inside like this okay so let's change the font back to the area nova and let's put that on bold to something like bold 
okay and that should be on italic like this okay i think that is perfect over there let me know in the comment section what your thoughts is okay all right so the next thing we are going to do is we'll pick our te text box our type tool and now open your text box like this open it and go to the writing and copy that ctrl c to copy now ctrl v and let's paste that open your character box and change the color from there to black like that let's change the font from italic to regular like this now let's close the spacing okay let's close that up a little bit again again let's close it again open open it okay now let me see bold i think bold is perfect over there all right so that is it over there let me open this again and let's decrease the size again i think this is cool it's okay okay now that is it over there for us i think the spacing let me decrease it to seven okay i think it's okay it's okay and then the spacing let me put that on 50 okay okay let me let me decrease this space it again to six i think this is looking good now okay so that is it for us now let me pick my shape so let me pick ellipse tool and then let's make a nice shape like this and let's change the color to color black position that position that here like this Ctrl J and let's duplicate that. Move it down to this end. Select the two shape like this. Ctrl J and let's duplicate that and move it down. Okay. Now let's select the four ellipse again. Now Ctrl J and duplicate that. Now move the duplicated one down. Ctrl J and let's duplicate that. Okay, so we'll get something like this. All right. So this is the part one part of the order of service now what you are going to do next is let me select this okay and let me so ctrl j and let me duplicate that and go down shift and drag that to the bottom part like this now move this okay okay now what you are doing is highlight all of this and copy this ctrl c and let's copy that now ctrl v and let's paste that over there so that we get something like this okay the next thing is let's go to our test and let's copy the remaining part that is the part two informations ctrl c and let's copy and ctrl v and let's paste that now let's reduce the space to six and now 
change the color to black and change this to gold okay so that you get something like this the spacing let's put it on 25 okay now pick your ellipse tool and let's draw an ellipse like this and change the color to color black let me take off the track the transform okay then let me duplicate the ellipse and to j let's duplicate that Ctrl J again and let me duplicate that. Okay, so guys, this is the part three, the page three design for us over here. Now let's move to page 10. Let's insert page 10 information over here. So let's duplicate this one select that and ctrl g and let's duplicate that hold on shift and drag that to this end pick your type tool and highlight that and let's go to our test and let's copy all of this ctrl c and let's copy that ctrl v and let's paste that information over there now let's close the space to six and then reduce the test size to 20 position it here let me change that to 30 and let's see okay now what we are going to do is let's mm, okay let me increase the size okay then let me open the paragraph over here and center the two like this okay then let me bring in my transform and i can now close this up a little bit like this open my character box and then i'll then go to my font and let me look for a font called poppins poppins and let me put that on black like that then let me right click on that and clear the layer styles over there let's reduce the spacing okay then my okay let me increase the okay all right so I am sure this is looking perfect. I'm sure this is looking perfect over there. Alright, so don't forget to give me your subscription. Okay, don't forget to give me your subscription for me to be eager to do more video. Then let me go to my shape tool again and pick a custom shape and pick this shape. Pick this shape. Okay, and come here and draw this and change the color for that to white okay then go to edit and go to transform and flip that vertical okay and let me select this two and now I can center the two okay Alright, so guys, that is it. That is it over there. Now, the next thing we are going to do is let me then bring in one guide at this end like this. And another one should also be here. Should be here. And then next one should be here. Like this. Okay. Now, pick my type tool. And I will then draw a shape like this using the type tool okay then let me go back to my test and let me copy this view copy 
copy that view ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste okay now what you are doing is let me center this okay center that using left align and change the font color to black okay then let's increase the size a little bit let's increase the size again okay then the spacing increase the spacing okay let's reduce the size for this Okay, and let's differentiate between stanza 1, stanza 2, and stanza 3. Okay, alright. Now, the next thing I will do is let me go back to my font and change the font to I need a font like uh, Lato this time around. I need a font like Lato. Okay, and I'll change that font. Okay, let me select all of this like this. Okay, uh, let me change that to that too. Okay, okay, let me move it to another one because I don't like that one. Let me check area and see. Okay, I think this one will be perfect for me all right so guys that is it then let me center this position this bring this down like this okay now let me pick my shape to rounded rectangle and let me make a shape like this at this place let me change the color to black and move it on top over there Pick my type tool, go back to your test, and let's copy this the hue number, Ctrl C to copy, and now Ctrl V, and let's paste that. Pick that and place it on top of the shape like that. Change the color to white, and hit on OK. Now let me change the font to Arial Nova and put that on bold. Increase the size, increase it one more time. Okay, and let's center this. All right, so that is it. The next thing is I'll select this, this, and I'll press Ctrl J and let me duplicate all of that and move it to this end. All right, so guys, that is it over there for us all right so this is what i want to share with you today in today's tutorial that is what i want to share with you today don't forget anytime you are designing a brochure or a booklet or any program in the form of a book don't forget your guide should be make use of okay your guide should be there to support you or to direct your work okay if not at times after working on it and they finish printing it you see that the folding would be distorted okay because you have not set a guide for the work at times the printing and if there is a need to cut off some places your work will be cut off so please always set a guide when you are working all right so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to also like share and comment on the page as well see you in my next video bye bye